Lanny, one of the greatest songs to me that, 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 that touches me as much as any song I've ever sang or known in my life is Whatever It Takes. And uh, I get all, all choked up, teary-eyed about it. Tell us about it. This is one of those songs that was born out of pain. Uh, it was a midweek chapel service at a Bible college. And I was mm. preaching that night. And uh, the, the chapel, it was a Catholic uh, institution that had been converted to our Bible college. Below the chapel was the kitchen and cafeteria. So the routine was after Wednesday night service, you would go downstairs and eat hamburgers and french fries and all that kind of thing. All the good stuff. All the good for stuff. For you. Yes. Not good for yes. you, but Absolutely. good stuff. <laughs> so uh, I had finished preaching and I'd given my guts. Any preacher understands what, what you feel when you want them to get what you're trying to say. Oh, yeah. And so I, I preached and I gave my guts and they came to the altar and did a now I lay me down to sleep token prayer. Oh. And I knew it. And mm -hmm. uh, so they did their token prayer and dashed out of the chapel down to the cafeteria to where the hamburgers were waiting. Mm -hmm. And I was crushed because they didn't get what I wanted them to get mm -hmm. from a spiritual plane. Mm -hmm. And so I remember so vividly, we had a nine foot grand piano and I went over and under the grand piano, I was just so crushed because they just didn't get what I wanted them to get from the sermon. So the Lord gave me this chorus under the grand piano. <laughs> and um, the story to be learned is, if they had gotten what I thought I wanted them to get, the song would never have been born. Oh, wow. I'm glad they didn't get it. I'm glad they didn't get it. I'm glad, I'm glad it went over their head. All right. And I learned a very important principle, and that is you can't always blame something that we want to call negative in our life. Mm -hmm. You can't always blame it on God, and neither can you blame it on the devil. Okay. Because God may be at work. Okay. So God was at right. work. He said, I want this song born because I know hundreds and thousands of people that are going to need this song as they walk through valleys. And maybe life. some of them actually got it and you did, the Lord just didn't let you see it. Exactly that's right. You know, I, his word does not return void. So exactly maybe right. that's it. Whatever. We're glad. Give us a little bit. of. There's a voice calling me from an old rugged tree. And it whispers, draw closer to me. Leave this world far behind. There are new heights to climb and a new place. Me, you will find. Let's sing it with him. three eight-year-old boys from West Memphis, Arkansas mm -hmm. that had been murdered by supposedly, allegedly, some teenagers. And uh, they made a documentary about that entire scenario. In the documentary, the father of one of the eight-year-old boys 
is singing Take the Dearest Things mm. to Me. Lady Love. Can I say something sure, about that? Sure, sure. I, I, I just, I grew up singing this song too, and I had a, we had a little trio of three girls in our church, and we would sing mm. this song. And, um, and now Danny and Melody and Reggie and I sing this. And every time we get to take the dearest things, I say, Danny, you have to sing that verse. Because that verse is hard. Take the dearest things to me, if that's how it must be. And um, in that time, go ahead. I started to say the, the writer today pointed to you on this one. It's, ah. your, it's your time today to sing okay. Take the Dearest Things. Take the dearest things to me. If that's how it must be To draw me closer to Thee Let the disappointments come Lonely days without the sun In through sorrow More like You I was at Brooklyn Tabernacle visiting my friends Jim and Carol Cimbala, and there was a 68-year-old black lady singing Take My Houses and Lands. Oh, wow. And she relayed the story that when she was 51, God called her up and said, sell your toys mm. and go to Haiti mm. and start an orphanage. She said, God, you got the wrong color and you got the wrong phone number. And God just right away said, excuse me, I know your number and I've got the right number and I've got the right color. Sell your toys and go to Haiti wow. and start an orphanage. And so she did. She sold her toys wow. and got on a plane and went to Haiti. She got there. She went to a hospital and she went to the administrator and said, I need babies. God sent me here to start an orphanage. I need babies from your hospital. The, the administrator said, ma'am, I'm sorry. All we have are children who are going to be dying. They will be dying. They will be dead before four o'clock. They're in windowsills, pus in their eyes. These are the, the rejects. Mm. She said, I need the babies. They said, you can't have them. Mm. They said, come back Monday. She went on the streets and gathered people to get cribs and clothing together. She came back Monday. She said, I'm back. And they pointed her to witness seals with little children who were going to be thrown away. Mm. Puss in their eyes. She gathered up the children and she started an orphanage. Mm. And today, when I heard her when she was 68 years old, she had 250 children <laughs> in her orphanage mm. and over 100 ministers in that country looking up to her for leadership. And that was a 68-year-old wow. black woman who had corn in the crib because she said, okay, you said take my houses and lands. I did. Take my houses and lands. Change my dreams and my plans. For I'm placing my whole life in your hands and if you call me today to a land far away lord i'll go and your will obey we got a letter from a lady in illinois she said my husband works for the electric company she said he was on a telephone pole and got electrocuted. The doctor said if he lives, he'll be nothing but a vegetable. And so in the letter she says, he's going to church this Sunday and he's going to sing whatever it takes to draw closer to you, Lord. Let's sing it. That's what Sunshine for rain. Come. 
Thank you so much for allowing God to use you to write incredible songs that have changed all of our lives.